at the conference, they were broken into small groups. In her small group, the icebreaker question was, name the most famous person you ever talked to. Name the most famous person that you have ever talked to. Velma missed some and then without hesitation, she decided it was Maya Angelou. But did she speak? Back in high school, she was part of a college readiness program. The college readiness program had obtained tickets to an evening with Maya Angelou. These tickets included a reception following the performance. She watched as Miss Angelou seemingly danced the floor without her feet touching the ground. She watched as important people asked Miss Angelou important questions. She wanted to say something. She knew this night was important. And so she got closer and closer, like a fly on a wall, until she was standing in close proximity to Miss Angelou. Proximity is important. Ever been to a concert or a play or a game? Have you heard about those thousand dollar tickets to Beyonce or Taylor Swift concert? Whoa, wait a minute. Did you guys hear me correctly? You can get a ticket ranging from $45 to $1,900 to see Beyonce. Where do you guys think the $40 tick, $45 ticket is located? <laughs> Where do you think that $1,900 ticket is located? <laughs> because entertainment and capitalism have discovered what a Jesus apparently knew, that proximity is important. You can charge now extra to people to be close. It works everywhere. Airplanes have discovered it too, charging more for the seats in the front with the two inch more leg room, throw in class, and you and the flight you take that was 2,000 now is $13,000. Proximity with some perks is everything. Today, Jesus wants the disciples to know their proximity to God. Jesus is speaking to them lately with the knowledge his time on this side of the Jordan is getting shorter and shorter. He's speaking with insight into the future, and he's trying to lay a foundation for them. And so he wants them to understand, you know me, you know God as a parent. Even though there's a lot of he language today, often I will refer to God as a parent because it's important for us to embrace the feminine and masculine aspects of God. Traditionally, we lean to Heavenly Father, God, he, 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 Father. And so I'm trying to not lean there as closely. So God, our parent, is in close proximity. This notion of God as the Trinity is a bit much. So we aren't going to go down that rabbit hole but we are trying to entertain this notion that God is closer than a whisper away. Mark had lost his job. It was through a layoff. He was good at what he did and was concerned about finding a new job. He starts looking for work. His mom reminds him to wait a minute. Your sister's best friend works at this corporation. She's highly respected. You need to reach out to her. So he invites his sister over for dinner. His sister is shocked because her brothers never invited anyone to his pad. Only after they've eaten dinner that he bought out and talked does he mention his real reason for inviting his sister over. To make this story shorter, his sister's friend gets him an interview, and that gets him hired the same day of the interview. He could have never gotten that interview without proximity to his sister's friend. And while he's competent and his CV is tight, it was his proximity to his sister's friend. And while he's competent, it was his proximity. Proximity is important. Don't let nobody fool you. That's why when people talk about reparations in America, it's an important conversation because in our, con in our country, 
disproportionately certain groups have had access to unlimited resources, proximity to housing and healthcare and education, et cetera. Statistically speaking, research shows that at the top of the market making money, that white men make the most money, followed by women, followed by African American. According to the Census Bureau, the average white household, average, so when I say, don't say that's not my household. According to the Census Bureau, the average white household makes 187,000 annually. According to the Census Bureau, the average Latino family makes 31,000. According to that same Census Bureau, the average black household makes 14,000. That's on average. That's a big difference. Proximity uncomfortably opens the door wide in our country for some people. And Jesus was saying, up in this space, you have not only had access to God, your parent, but you've had close access. Often, people conveniently use this text as a way to exclude others. You can only get to God through Jesus, not Buddha, not Muhammad, or any other. Jesus is the way, but slow down. Because it turns out not only is proximity important in this text, the scripture, the context is important too. Jesus is talking to disciples, not just anybody. He might say it differently if he were talking, like how you explain death to a child versus an adult or a relative or a co-worker. His disciples knew him. He wanted them to save the assurance to know that if they knew him, they knew God. As long as I got a penny, you got a penny. As long as I got a home, you got a home. As long as I'm in this game, your back is covered. You are not standing alone. In fact, according to this poem, Footprints in the Sand, if you see only one set of footprints in the sand, they are God's. And you only see one set because God is carrying you. That's how close we are. You have VIP access to God. Let not your hearts be troubled, begins the text. This community had been separated from the synagogue, but they had not been separated from God. Separation and alienation were a part of their right now experience. Think about you and who you're separated from now. Think about those people that you miss that you're separated from. Maybe that separation is due to death. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's because you grew apart. Maybe it's because someone moved. Maybe it's because of a disagreement. Maybe it's because of who you are and they couldn't accept you. On the radio this week was a male who had called in and he hadn't spoken to his mom in two years because she was mean to his partner. Separation happens, and this community had experienced separation, and the disciples were about to experience an even greater loss. Jesus knows the end of the chapter, and he's trying to prepare them. I might not be here physically, but your proximity to God is close. You have VIP Taylor Swift seats. You can't get any closer. I am the way you're on the right path. I am the truth. Looked like he was on a time crunch with time-sensitive info. He needed one of the disciples at least to get it, to share it with the rest of the disciples. He couldn't have been maybe a little bit clearer. I am the way. You are already here. This week, a man stopped at 6.50 a.m. in a truck, rolled down a window, and asked me for directions. He motioned to me to come to his car. I don't know what that says about me, but I went. By now, I had concluded he was Mexican with limited English vocabulary. He was trying to get somewhere, and I assumed he was running out of time. He pointed at his phone. Following his finger, I looked. And at first, like him, I couldn't make sense of the directions either. I couldn't tell where he was trying to get to. And then I saw it further down on his phone and I hated to be the bearer of bad news. The city was Chicago Heights. I com miraculously communicated far. I could see him pulling his truck over to make a phone call. I couldn't hear him, but I imagined he communicated with someone 
He was far away, and he wasn't going to be on time. Sometimes God can feel far away. Sometimes the destination seems out of reach. Sometimes our spirituality is on low. And it can feel like we are trying to get three suburbs out, away over in Chicago Heights. And Jesus is saying, not necessary. God is so much closer. Our proximity to God is close. Reach your hands out, like when it's sprinkling outside or snowing. Utter your heart's yearning. Share your private thoughts. Thank God for this day. Ask God for help, because if anybody can get you out of this, it's God. Let God see where you're trying to go. Remember, the answer is not always the answer. Linger just a little bit longer. Wait on it. Wait for it. Realize you are so close to God. The proximity is closer than you think. Borrowing from the Message Bible Translation, I'd like you to hear a little bit of John that you heard earlier again. Don't let this throw you. You trust God, don't you? Trust me. There is plenty of room for you where I am going. If that weren't so, would I have told you? I am on my way to get a room ready for you. And if I'm on my way to get a room ready for you, I'll come back and I'll get you so you can live where I live. And you already know the road I'm taking. Thomas Butt said, Master, we have no idea where you're going. How do you expect us to know the road? And Jesus said, I, I am that road. I, I am that truth. I am the life. No one gets to God the parent apart from me. If you really knew me, you would know. You would know God as well. So from now on, you do know. You've seen God. And you're much, much closer than you think. Amen.